Hi, welcome to another episode of The Eyes of Fear, where we're looking at how do we keep away from looking at life through the eyes of fear and look at the eye, through the eyes of faith. How do we do that? How do we become more effective at that? Well, we've been looking at the negative things that can happen. We've been looking at what happens when you live your life and you see through the eyes of fear how it robs you of the joy of discovering the life that God has for you. For example, when you look through the eyes of fear, you will always see yourself as inadequate. Always. You'll never be strong enough. You'll never be good enough. You'll never be wise enough. You'll never have enough resources. You're never going to have enough time. You'll never have, have enough uh, of the stuff that you need to overcome whatever the challenge is. In the Bible, the Israelites describe themselves as people who look like grasshoppers compared to the giants in the Promised Land. That's in Numbers 13, 32 through 33. And when we become afraid, we act like the Israelites did. We project our fears upon others. We make bad assumptions. The Israelites, if you think about it, had no idea how they looked to the Canaanites. You know why? They never talked to a Canaanite. They don't know if the people in the Promised Land looked at them as a threat. They don't know if the people in the Promised Land looked at them and were afraid of them. They never took the time to even consider that. What they saw was from their perspective how they looked compared to what they were seeing, and they saw themselves as very, very small. Who told them they were grasshoppers? Not God. Not the Canaanites. They came up with that own, that idea, that own dumb idea that they had to own by themselves. See, that's what we do to ourselves time and time again. We'll always be inadequate when left to our own decisions, and when we look at our lives through eyes of fear. So all of a sudden, we have a group of people that God has provided for, deciding they can't do what God has asked them to do, based on an assumption that they have made about themselves that has no foundation in anything that God had done previously. They were destined to lose. Why? because they were looking through the eyes of fear and they weren't able to focus through the eyes of faith. In your life, in my life, we need to learn to look through the eyes of faith, not fear. And we'll wrap this up in our next episode.